The Jack River Ripper murders took place at the end of 1888. The murders all took place in Whitechapel. I had heard a great deal about the Whitechapel murders, but I must confess, the sight I saw, I cannot drive from my mind. It looked more like the work of the devil than it did of any man. And with that, Jack the Ripper's reign of terror had come to an end. Body snatchers, or resurrection men, were the people who supplied corpses for surgical science during the 18th and 19th centuries. Every medical student needed three corpses during his training, um, two on which to take apart and really learn from the inside how the human body worked, to, so to learn anatomy, and the third one on which to practice surgical techniques, so to learn what it feels like to cut into human flesh. This isn't a theme park, it's a real urban environment. Well, for me and my friends, the Undercroft is home. Uh, it's, we call it Mecca, you know, it's the birthplace of British skateboarding. It's the atmosphere of the space, the architectural atmosphere, which makes it unique. For me, it's just like a place I grew up in, and it's where I kind of like made a lot of my, my now friends and connections. Six lives of King Henry VIII, the gruesome executions of Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, Henry's second and fifth wives stand out because of the bloody stains they left on the reputation of the British royal family. And she sat in the chair and the executioner got the sword and to get up the necessary speed and she hadn't got to flinch or move or collapse otherwise she'd get an appalling flesh wound. She was expected to deliver her last words and was about to do so. She was distracted and without any kind of warning, her head was extracted from the body very quickly. I think that street art shapes neighbourhoods in London in a very positive way. People love the fact that there is creativity happening around them. You get people that paint like characters, you get writers and stuff that paint letters and things, and then you get people that do like stencil art. A new study that just came out recently shows that London is the number one tourist destination in the whole world, and quite a lot of people make it as part of their journey uh, to go on street art tours, go to areas where there's a high uh, concentration of street art to be part of their holiday. The end of World War II heralded the arrival of the Cold War. A cold and secret war. An undercover war. At the time Mansfield coming became sea, Britain had an empire on which the sun never set and it was his duty to provide secret intelligence, because that is what intelligence means in the United Kingdom. It is secret information, secretly obtained and secretly exploited.